Hi, dude, Sudok here. Welcome back to another episode of the biggest ripoffs online. So, my god, do I got some good ones for you today. This probably might be the best episode of this segment yet, because seriously, I just facepalm so hard when I see some of this stuff. But let's just hop right in, into it. We got the Yu Gi Oh! large card collection 12 pounds. Okay, so since when does anyone write the number of pounds in freaking Yu Gi Oh! cards? Because that totally means how much it's worth. I mean, I got a stash full of commons, it's like. 12, 13 pounds, so it's obviously $800, guys. And who knows how much that shipping's gonna be, and we're gonna have to calculate that, but $800 plus at least 10 or $20 shipping. Yeah, but let's see what you get. So you get a beautiful, terrible condition binder with a bunch of random commons, and then you get rubber bands of random commons. On top of that, you get, like, 10 packs of some old booster sets back in like 2010 so I'm totally gonna be raking in the dough with that totally gonna plus and make your money back <laughs> along with that he opens a random page on one of his random binders actually no there's only one binder so he just opens to some random page you get the powerful mystical elf and the powerful slot machine but on top of that you do get some magazines so probably the magazines is the thing that is worth the most out of any of this stuff and you also get a sealed, terrible condition started at Kaiba. Unsealed box, but, I mean, look at those scratches, man. I mean, you might as well just open it up, because, I mean, that just looks ugly sitting on your table. It's like, yeah, it's sealed, but it's, it's a terrible condition sealed box. I mean, come on. So, totally $800, guys. The magazines are pretty nice, not gonna lie, but, I mean, come on. Just one random, terrible condition binder, not even an Ultra Pro binder, not even a Monster binder, and you get random rubber bands of probably terrible condition commons. I bet, I mean, look at those creases right there. I bet, like, half of those cards are in terrible condition. And then, of course, you get a clutch 10 sealed booster packs from, like, 2004. I'm really gonna be raking in the dough there. Unbelievable. Anyway, going on to a fake Yu-Gi-Oh card, we got the Winger Dragon Raw. So big shout out to Pyro Silo on DN and YouTube. He sent me a link to this, and it's just hilarious. Look what the heck is this? Five hundred dollars, and he admits it's play. Look at these pictures here. So five hundred dollars for some random fake card that any random Joe could have made. Terrible condition. What the heck is that? Terrible condition. Like, are you freaking kidding me, man? So let's read what it does. So basically, spirits sing of a powerful creature that rules all over its mystic. And it has question mark attack and question mark defense. But I mean, seriously, man, $500 for a terrible condition. Terrible condition fake card. Like, you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. So, going on to a first edition, started at Kaiba, Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is going for the low, low price of $1,403. And it's not even in the best of condition. Well, I guess that's decent, I guess. But still, first edition Blue Eyes from started at Kaiba. whoop de frickin do It's not like I can go to the other tab right here and find other first edition Blue Eyes that are going for like $20. I mean, it's totally $1,400, guys. Totally. For, for no freaking reason. Oh, the nerves some people have on the internet boggles my mind, guys. Boggles my mind. <laughs> Going on to one of these. it's You know it's not an episode of this without talking about this. So every time I see some of this kid's listings, I facepalm so hard. It seems like every episode of this segment, we just got another one of these listings. But we got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Hot! Complete 50-card Blackwing deck. Tournament ready! Plus a bonus. So this is not tournament ready. Like, are you kidding me, man? You don't give us any Chris's, you don't give us any of the new stuff, just all the Black Wings from freaking. I believe the newest card in here is from 2010, and that was cards for Black Feathers that came out in the Shining Darkness. All the other cards are older than 2010. It's like, seriously, you know Black Wings have been getting support each year. I mean, they got some decent support back in 2014 with Black Sonic and the new stuff in the Dragon of Legends. Or even in the Premium Gold after that, they got Hawk Joe. You don't give us a Hawk Joe, you don't give us one Nathong. You don't basically just give us all the old Blackwing Synchros, the freaking Silver Wind, which you can't even summon unless you have a Vayu. Oh my god. And then you give us these Clutch Fishers. You're too pro to give us MSTs. You just, you're gonna give us that much disrespect and give us Dust Tornadoes and no MSTs. You give us these Clutch Fishers when Dark Hole is at 2. Like, are you freaking kidding me? I can go right here to, like, the other tab. Oh yeah, and while I mention it, there's not one card in here that's more than a dollar other than the Whirlwind. The only card in this picture that's more than a dollar is the freaking Whirlwind. And then everything else is, like, dirt cheap. 23 cents for these common sure is 
We go over here to the other tab. I mean, is it that hard to throw in some common dark holes? It's only 50 cents. Like, are you really that, <laughs> like, that mean to us? Because, I mean, if I type in Fisher Yu-Gi-Oh, you give us two clutch Fishers, two pro to give us a smashing ground, two pro to give us, well, of course, Regaki is way too much money, but, I mean, just any other remote, two pro to give us hammer shot. You got to give us Fisher, because, I mean, it's going for 23 cents. I mean, dark hole is only, like, what, 20 cents extra? Like, come on, man, is it that hard just to throw in some dark holes? Just to throw in some freaking MSTs. You give us dust tornadoes and no MSTs. And then the newest card in this freaking rectangle is the goddamn Cards for Black Feathers, which came out in still 2010, which is so old. But, I mean, oh, my God, just face palm right here. Just complete face palm. Who would pay $50 for this? $50, that is not tournament ready. If you go to a tournament, you will win one random duel if you're lucky. I'm just saying. So, unbelievable. So, the last thing I wanted to mention here is another ripoff that super special awesome cards did to me. So, if you guys don't remember, I bought a Thousand Eyes Restrict when the ban list first came out on April 8, 2016. And then they take two or three weeks to send this stupid message. The same day that I bought the Thousand Eyes Restrict, they emailed me saying that it was shipped. And then I wait for the card, it never comes in, and then they send a message now on April 21st saying that we regret to inform you that the purchase of Thousand Eyes has been oversold in our inventory and we will be unable to fulfill your order. The balance change made everyone buy the card, so basically you're saying you don't get the card, ha ha ha, you die. Which is so stupid, it's like you sent me a mis message saying that you shipped it. And it was a good deal. I mean, only $4. Now, if I want to get a thousand eyes, it's going to be at least $15 to $20. Like, are you freaking kidding me, super special awesome cards? I hate you. I'm never buying from you again. You can just go die in a hole. So, oh, just so stupid. Like, really? And why do you take me so long, or take them so long to send this message? When they seriously sent a message saying that the card was shipped the day that I bought the thousand eyes. Like, are you effing kidding me? But... Hey, this is this episode of the biggest ripoffs online. Hopefully you got a good laugh out of this. I mean, some of this stuff, like, what the heck is this? And everyone's totally going to be paying $1,500 for a Blue Eyes White Dragon, of course. Oh my god, don't even get me started on this, but anyway, thank you all for watching as always. I'll be back next month with some more ripoffs, and until next time, this is Stew Dog, and I'm signing out.